Hello everyone, my name is Brandon. Uh, this is my first time ever being on YouTube or any type of video streaming platform ever. So, we're gonna start this video off by saying I have no clue what I'm doing. Totally brand new, no clue where to begin. Um, I'm literally starting on an iPad and an iPhone. So, um, from here, I'm going to just kind of tell you guys a little bit about myself and what I would like to see with this channel and how it could potentially grow. Um, so, 24 years old, I've loved Pokemon all my life. I remember when I first started collecting Pokemon cards, um, I was probably living in Texas at the time. I was maybe six years old and um, I was gifted a big old box that had Dragon Ball Z cards, Pokemon cards, and everything else that you can imagine. Um, from there, I just fell in love with Pokemon. Uh, I'm a would like what I would like to consider I would like to consider myself a new collector so obviously I had Pokemon cards back in the day but I haven't gotten back into collecting until about maybe a month ago this came from me being on Facebook and seeing certain Pokemon card channels on Facebook and then following them and subscribing on YouTube and seeing what they do um, I fell in love I fell back in love with collecting Pokemon cards when I decided to go to Walmart, buy a just just one pack. I bought one pack of um, the Sword and Shield base set, and I pulled the Boss's Order Rainbow Rare card, which I will show you here in a moment. Uh, I, uh, as far as work goes, I travel a lot for work, so if it never seems like I'm in the same spot, it's pre it's because I, I travel a lot. Um, I think that's going to help me out in the long run, though, because uh, the best part about this job is that I do travel a lot and in the same spaces I've traveled a lot. So if I'm in one city, I'm in all of the surrounding cities. So I hit every Target, I hit every Walmart and look for packs that interest me the most and buy those packs and then now hopefully open them up for you guys and create an entertaining channel and hopefully it uh, grows into something that we all can share and love. So that is the start of this channel, my little intro. And so let's get into these cards. So before I actually start opening new packs, I kind of want to show everybody what I have now. So my collection, I, I'm sure I can find a lot of other Pokemon cards in my attic and things like that. But um, as of now, I've just started collecting off of packs that you can buy at Walmart and Target. And I kind of want to show you the few cards that have kind of uh, pushed me into wanting to do this more. So as I said previously, I was watching Facebook videos of people opening Pokemon cards. And this uh, certain YouTuber, he was looking for a specific card. And he had opened so many packs for it and couldn't find it. And, and I bought one pack. I bought one pack because I went to Walmart to buy, a, um, to buy V8 energy drinks and which I recommend and I just decided to buy a pack and this is the card I pulled so this is the boss's orders card it comes in the sword and shield base set and it's worth about 35 40 bucks I believe it could have it could have been changed um, but I pulled this card out of one pack it's the top card in this set and when I pulled it I was just automatically hooked and knew that I wanted to continue with my card luck so uh, this was the very first I guess big time card I've pulled for my now new collection. And um, yeah, next card is this Charizard GX. So this card uh, comes out of the Burning Shadows pack. You know, Charizard's pretty much the second mascot of Pokemon, right? It goes Pikachu Charizard. Um, and so Charizard cards are always valuable. Um, this one, not so much. It's probably worth about 10 bucks, but I actually have two of them. And I think it's a gorgeous card and pulled them both in the same day and I was hooked even more. Now this next one um, brings back memories of the original uh, base set packs and it's, these, it's this Charizard. So this is not the original Charizard. Um, if you don't know, Pokemon came out with a pack called Evolutions where they pretty much uh, reprinted the old um, set. And I actually pulled this Charizard. Funny enough, I pulled it on the toilet. I was literally just opened up the pack while I was um, using the bathroom, and I found this guy. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you probably saw that. Uh, this card's worth about 35 bucks, 30, 35. Um, gorgeous card. It isn't the original, um, but the nostalgia that it uh, that it has, like, and reminds me of the day, back in the day. Like, it, it's just more than enough for me to, to love this card. Um, and then lastly is this one. 
Um, I actually just pulled this yesterday. Um, I pulled it at one o'clock in the morning. I actually found a uh, set in my car that I hadn't opened yet. And I was like, oh, let me open this up. And when I pulled this, I thought it was the one that was worth like $200. It is not, it's only worth 20 but still a beautiful card. Um, when I used to play Pokemon, I never had these tag team cards. And so the fact that there's, you know, two Pokemon of the same type um, chilling together on a beautiful card, I just love it. So these are the cards that kind of brought me back into collecting Pokemon cards. Um, and then for this video, um, I wanna open up two different types of sets. They both are from the Sun and Moon era. Um, they both have a really expensive Charizard in it. And so the first one is uh, Burning Shadows. I don't know if you can see that. It's Burning Shadows. Uh, this card actually has a Charizard in it that's worth a lot of money. Um, it's a beautiful card, so even if I pull it, I'm not even sure if I actually want to sell it. I might end up selling it just to keep my um, card buying habit uh, at, you know, at bay because I don't want to spend all of my money. Um, I like money. And so if I can make some money and spend some money doing this hobby, I would love it. Um, after Burning Shadows, we'll do Cosmic Eclipse. So Cosmic Eclipse also has a Charizard card in it. Um, and I believe it's this one. I could be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's this one. Um, if not, I know there's a Charizard card in it. And there's also a Blast Toys and Piplup card. Um, actually, I know for a fact it's this one. There's a Blast Toys and Piplup card in here. It is not worth the most money in the world. I love Blastoise, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, Piplup's cool, and so if I could pull a Blastoise and Piplup little tag team card like that, I would love it. So what I'm gonna do is just to kind of save time, I'm not gonna open up these blister packs and you know break open this Elite Trainer box. I'm gonna go ahead and open it off camera and then kind of just stack the packs and then we'll open it from there. Okay, so we have two packs here, um, two, well, two sets of packs. Burning Shadows, Cosmic Eclipse. Both of these packs have um, pretty expensive Charizards in them. I believe the Burning Shadows is kind of, it's it's big time expensive. Um, so if we could pull that, that'd be incredible. And now, here's the thing. You have to make sure you pull the right rarity. So if we find a Charizard, I will be happy regardless because I love opening packs. But that doesn't mean I've made a bunch of money. So. Um, we're gonna go through these. I'm trying to decide which I want to do first and I think I've came with the decision to go ahead and flip this coin. I was gonna choose one, but then I thought that'd be no fun. So let's flip a coin. So that's gonna fall. We have Tyranitar here. I'm thinking heads for Burning Shadows, tails for Cosmic Eclipse. You know what? How about you fall over too? Thank you. Okay, heads for Burning Shadows, tails for Cosmic Eclipse. All right, Tails it is. So we're gonna go through Cosmic Eclipse first and then we'll go to Burning Shadows. Personally, I like Burning Shadows uh, more just because of the fact that I can pretty much win big. Um, but I think that if I had to choose a favorite card um, out, off of just pure love for the Pokemon or the art, it would definitely be the Bull, uh, Blast Toys and Piplup. So taking money aside, not thinking about collector's value or anything else, I really want to pull this Blastoise and Piplup. So this will be a perfect start for the first ever video for this channel. So let's get started. So um, usually when uh, these guys open packs um, in the Pokemon TCG community, they come with these cards right here, these little code cards. Um, a lot of them go ahead and show it and they kind of throw it away, but basically what this is, you can go on to pokemon.com um, forward slash redeem and you can use this code to collect online Pokemon TCG uh, so that you can play online with people. Now, I, I'm not, I don't know a lot about it. Um, I actually am more of a collector than an actual player. So um, if you guys love to play online and you wanna use these codes, please subscribe, let me know. Um, I have a bunch of them. I'm probably gonna save them. I will never throw them away um, unless I've given the code to somebody, then I'll probably throw it away. Um, so if you want them, let me know and I'll absolutely give them to you. Um, set that there. Next, uh, most people do what's called a card trick. So um, they'll take the four cards. Um, it's different for different sets and they'll put them to the front. 
this back card will be the big big card um, the rarest of them all if you if you want to put it that way and then the front card will be an energy so a lot of people like to play the guess the energy game um, I probably won't be as dedicated to it just because I don't want to um, jock the swag of other people um, so we'll we'll just have energies maybe sometimes I'll guess and sometimes I won't so uh, to start off I almost spoiled it right there that could have been a huge card the last one Hey, first flip, already messed up. Okay, let's get rid of all this trash. So, got a dark energy, Absol. I love Absol. I think I fell in love with Absol during the Jirachi movie. Flareon, let me get this better. Roller Skater, Flabebe, Alolan Sandshrew. I love the Alolans. I think they're better than the Galarians. Ponyta, Sunkern. I don't know why. I am not a big fan of Sunkern. I think it's a weird Pokemon and it just makes me cringe. Get out of here. Cosmog and Crab Crabominable. Um, I'm awful at pronunciating things when I'm trying to read it. Like if you literally just showed me this Pokemon, I probably would have said it just fine. Um, this is the reverse rare. So just because it's shiny doesn't mean necessarily um, that it's worth anything. Um, it does have a little star at the bottom there. If you could see it, this would come into focus. That'd probably help. Um, but um, it's a reverse rare, which is great. Now these reverses, which means the hollow's not on the actual picture, um, they can come in commons, uncommons. So this isn't huge money right off the bat. Uh, the next card is what's huge money. Okay, Mimikyu. So non-holographic, um, it is a rare. You can see the star at the bottom. Um, so nothing too big here. And we'll just kind of throw them off to the side. Um, most of the cards that I'm going to pull are, are pretty much going to be of no value except for that last card. And what I've thought about doing and what I've researched and heard other YouTubers do is they actually uh, take what's called the um, the bulk, which is just, oh my gosh, what am I doing? The bulk, um, and it is uh, just all the cards that don't cost anything, and they donate it. So I think that's a brilliant idea. I don't want to have you know, thousands of cards just kind of sitting in my car or something. So I would love to just go ahead and donate them um, whenever I get a big enough thing. So, um, lightning. Ooh, first guess. First time getting it wrong. Okay, so fire energy. Vibrava. Probopass. Eagly Buff. I just got a shiny one of these on Pokemon Go. Cosmo. That's a different art. Pancham. Love that Pokemon. Drillbur. Exadrill was like meta and Sword and Shield, the game. I remember because my boy Steven told me I need to get one. Tangela, which I don't play that game anymore, which is kind of sad. Cricktoon, that's the reverse uh, uncommon because it has a diamond. And Marshadow. Okay, so first two packs haven't really pulled anything too, too crazy. But hey, what can you expect for a first timer, right? Let's see if I can open this up much quicker and more professionally. You gotta be careful, because opening these packs, um, you know, you could have a $300 card in there. We don't want to uh, ruin the condition of it. Um, you can send in cards to be graded through PSA. It's a company out in California, I believe, that will grade your cards and it can basically drastically increase the value of them. I've never sent in cards, but I definitely want to try it. Fairy energy. Draw energy. Unidentified Fossil, Rapidash, Oddish, Rufflet, Piplup. Is this a sign? Am I going to get my Blastoise Piplup card? Alolan Vulpix, Rockruff, Decidueye, Reverse Rare, second one, not bad. And, oof, Golurk, non-holographic rare. Okay. Moving on, we're not having too great of luck on this Cosmic Eclipse um, opening, but that's okay. That was a perfect opening. That's how I open them all the time. Just this one time where I decided to record myself, I'm, I'm you know, basically not clutching and not opening it correctly. I know I said I wouldn't show those, but it's kind of nice just getting it out of the way now. Okay. Steel Energy. I love that logo. It's probably my favorite out of all of them, even though it's not one of the original ones. I love it. Pig Knight. Alolan Sandshrew. Snow Runt. Coughing. 
that Drillber. Swirlix. Ooh, Ralts. Probably one of my favorite psychic types. Uh, I remember when I played Ruby and Sapphire, like, I just loved getting Ralts. And it was, like, super girly back in the day, but it was just such an incredible Pokemon to me. I just loved it. And, ooh, Wishy Washy GX. Okay, so I'm not sure how much this card is worth, but I've never pulled it. Um, now, this is an interesting one, and let me tell you why. Uh, this card is cut very poorly. So you can see this top border here, like past this black. Um, it's supposed to be the same size as past this black. And it's actually like kind of dented here. This is cut very, very poorly. You can even see it on the back. Look at the border at the bottom compared to the top. Um, so basically, if this was like a super rare card and I just pulled it like this, the 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 value of it would drastically drop. Now, I'm not sure how much this card is worth, um, but as far as the Pokemon goes, I love it. I don't know if anybody is, uh, you know, maybe some of you who haven't played the new games, this, uh, this Pokemon's very interesting because it basically turns itself into a bigger version of itself. It's one of its abilities. Um, it's not an evolution though, it just turns into a bigger fish. So this is sweet. Um, this is what we'd call an actual pull. So we'll put it over to the left side. We'll go over the pulls at the end and, um, you know, decide which is the best. I've never had a card cut like that though. So for the first um, pull card, like as in something kind of valuable or interesting, I'm surprised that it was in such crappy condition. So um, again, these codes, I'm probably gonna throw these ones away just cause they're on the video. But again, I have so many more if you would like to, uh, if you'd like them, um, subscribe, let me know. Um, DM me on any of my social medias if you know me personally and I will absolutely give them to you. I have no use for them. Okay. Water energy. If I was a Pokemon trainer, I'd be a water trainer. Blastoise would be my dude. Great catcher. That's me. Actually, my sister was a great catcher. She played softball. Golit. Dewpiter. A Palm. Onyx. Probably one of my favorite rock Pokemon from back in the day, and I'm actually scared of snakes. But Onyx was just an icon, bro. Like, he doesn't get as much love as you'd think nowadays. Tepig. Ooh, Flareon, Reverse Uncommon. This is actually a really good looking card for, you know, not being worth much, but. Ooh, okay, so this is an interesting card. Now, I, it, it's not like this one, um, but it is a hollow rare. So it's probably not worth much now, but I still like to sleeve these. Um, who knows, maybe 10 years down the, down the road, people will, uh, you know, want something like this. Um, and I mean, it's just a gorgeous card, so it's probably not worth too much. We're gonna put it over to the right side, um, but it's in its own special pile. I'm gonna try to work on speed so that these videos aren't that long. But let's guess the energy. We're gonna go grass type. Fairy, way off, okay. Red and blue, the OGs. Floet, Roxy, Chinchow, Azrael, Rufflet, Oddish, Ralts, Alolan Meowth. I hate Alolan Meowth. I know I love. I, I just said I love the Alolan uh, more than the Galarian, not the Meowth. And ooh, another uh, Hollow Rare. Ultra Necrozma, Necrozma, Necrozma. Ultra Beast, very nice, cool looking card, but again, going to the right side in its own little pile. Only one good pull from this Cosmic Eclipse, that's kind of, uh, kind of disappointing. Hopefully, hopefully Burning Shadows, since it's going last, is gonna perform a little bit better. Card trick, I'm gonna do two in a row, let's go Lightning, Dark, okay. Zangoose, Vaporeon, Tag Call, Sandy Gas, Sfeel, love Sfeel, Cottony, Rowlet, Phantom, ooh, Komomo. This is a nice looking card, I love it. And Beware. Oh well, beware of these poor pools, I guess. All right. Last Cosmic Eclipse pack. Hopefully, we can pull something nice out of it. 
I'm gonna try and speed through these burning shadows. I don't want these videos to run too long. 20 minutes is enough if uh, we're doing a small pull like this one. I'm thinking about doing videos every week. I haven't really decided. Okay. This, in, this, this one's interesting. Uh, I remember seeing this and thinking it was dumb. I'm not a big fan of Pokemon that are modeled after real life things and not like, well, let me not say real life, um, inanimate objects and not biological animals. I, I, the, the, you know, all of the ones that just kind of look like inanimate objects to me, I don't know. I feel like it's a cop out, but I love Pokemon, so that one's pretty cool. Tropius, one of my favorite grass types. Alolan Grimer, one of my favorite Alolans. Magnemite, Eevee, Flabebe, Sneasel, ooh, Screlp. Now this was one of my favorite, uh, oh, is that Palkia in the back? That's pretty sick. And final Cosmic Eclipse card, ugh, Glalie. Oh well, that stinks. Well, we got a uh, poorly cut wishy-washy, and um, that's all, folks, for the Cosmic Eclipse. Okay, maybe Burning Shadows will be better for us. I would really hope that we could get, like, at least a $15, $20 card, um, especially for the first video, the, um, the, alpha, the alpha video that started it all. Two, three, four. Let's go fighting. Psychic. Okay, Whirlipede, Wobbuffet, a Electric, Tynamo, Mudbray, Stuffle, Noibat, Sock, Ooh, Reverse, Panseer. I heard on that's a little creepy. Azumarill, man, you know it's crazy. I usually buy one or two packs every day. And it seems like I always pull something. And uh, today, I haven't pulled a thing, except for a very poorly cut wishy-washy. Okay, code for ya. Again, please get those codes for me because I'm ready to throw them away. Whirlipede, Electric, Ooh. Guzma. I actually pulled the full art uh, Guzma from this pack. Um, it's a pretty cool looking card, actually. I feel like it deserves to uh, be looked at. There we go. Yeah. Guzman. Okay, moving on. Charmander. More lol. Esper. Duskull. Oddish. Ooh. This is our first reverse trainer card. It's an uncommon, still a cool looking card, I guess. And, oh, man, Lycan Rock, non-holographic. I need to work on keeping my open space clear here, huh? Moving on, we got five packs left. Oof. I don't know if y'all saw that little spoil card, but that's another one of my favorite Alolans. Four. Okay, another psychic. Whirlipede. Is this, is this the last pack? Guzma. Is this the last pack? Nope, it's not. Alolan Ratata. I love the Alolan version of this. I remember we were playing Pokemon Go with some of my friends, and they didn't know why Ratata all of a sudden um, was on two legs. That is why. Saddle Charmander. In the rain, about to lose his flame tail. Pikachu. Shout out to the Pikachus. Crow Gunk. Ooh, might be the favorite, actually, poison type for real, though. Shout out to my boy Steven. He's a poison trainer. Esper and oh, Weavile. I feel like I have a friend that loves Weavile, and I just don't know who it is. I guess we're not that close, but I feel like I used to have a friend that was just all about Weavile. Okay. We're at about the probably 20-ish minute mark. Kind of move quicker. Okay. 
Grass. Wrong. Big time. Curlia. Olivia. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Wimpod. Togedomaru, which is basically Pikachu clone. Do Piter. Cute to fly. Riolu. Ooh, another reverse trainer card. Give me something here. Oh. Man. My uh my pull my pull luck has really, really, really taken a dive. For the worst. Man. Y'all are gonna make me already stop recording. Just kidding. Okay. Mm, let's go fire since it was fire last time. Fighting. Simisage. Whirlipede. Guzma. Oddish. Tynamo. Mudbray. Stuffle. Noibat. Ooh, Simisage. The same one. And. <sighs> Turtonator. Non holographic. Eh. You know, if one of these three could just contain something, that'd be wonderful. Anything at this point. You can give me another poorly cut wishy-washy even though you're not in this set. Just give me something. Okay. Codes. Codes, codes, codes for everybody. And if you win an online TCG tournament, if that's a thing, I want a shout out. Water Trainer for Life. Rainbow B, Curlia. The fairy type is really cool. I wish they didn't take them out of card sets. They're not in card sets anymore. Crow Gunk. Pikachu Ripoff. Wimpod. Alolan Volpix. That's pretty much up there on the best Alolans. Meowth. Regular Meowth. Thank God. Ooh, Reverse Rare Slow King. I don't know if I've pulled this one. This is a really cool looking card. And. Ooh, Hollow Lichen Rock. I have pulled this card. I'm not too mad, um, but again, I'm I'm looking for a, a, a GX. I'm looking for a Charizard. I'm looking for the money. I'm looking for. I think it's like three hundred dollars ungraded, maybe. Probably two hundred and fifty ungraded. That's what I want. Man, I just want to pull something crazy. I'm trying to get in a reaction out of myself. This is the first video ever, and we're uh, not doing too hot. Very. Curlia. Olivia. Unitone. Riolu. Rhyhorn. Tangela. Dewpiter. Noibat. Porygon. I love this art. I saw this art um, when I first opened one of these Burning Shadows packs, and I love this art. I'm not even a Porygon fan, but the art, incredible. And. One pack to go. One pack to go. Is this the one? Was I planning this from the beginning? Just so you know, it is sealed. I promise. I didn't plan anything from the beginning. I didn't even plan on making a video until today. And I was just like, you know what? If you're going to open all these cards. You might as well record yourself doing it. Because you might get a great reaction for that one time you finally pull something great. Three, four... Steel, my favorite energy type. Well, art at least. So maybe this is some good luck. Charmeleon. Is this a sign? Dusclops. Potown. Merrill. I am not a big fan of this little stitched up uh, art. You've probably seen it a few times. Not a big fan. Caterpie. More Lol. Duskull. Oddish. Reverse Riolu. Okay. This is the final card on the first video that I have made. If we could get something incredible here, that'd be great. If not, this will be just a huge loss, but a great start to what I hope is an awesome adventure um, doing something like this for the first time ever in my life. Um, I just want to go ahead and start. I'm going to get a little... little um, Emotional. I'm not going to get emotional, but we're, I'm going to talk with emotion. Uh, past four or five years of my life, it's been all work, no play, a little bit of play, but mostly work. Um, 
and I've I'm blessed enough to have a job that will provide me with the funds to do you know things like open Pokemon cards you know um, there's a lot of people out there that doesn't that don't have that um, so I'm really blessed uh, for the opportunities I've been given so moving forward again I do want to kind of give back um, and donate all my bulk the stuff I don't need um, the stuff that you know maybe even this wishy-washy some kid would probably love that it's a beautiful card um, and so I know I just got all sappy we got one card to go let's see what it is let's see if this has all been worth it ah! wow what a face to give me on the last card to pull on the first video on this channel well hey it is what it is. You can't win every pull. Hopefully, moving forward, we're going to get something great. Um, I remember telling myself I'm going to have the pull pile where I do a recap. So let's do a recap for the first video that I have made. Wishy Washy GX. The card. This is going to be a mascot for this channel. I may have decided that uh, Wishy Washy, moving forward, is going to be... Um, God, the centering on this card is so awful. It's so bad that I wonder if like I can get some value out of it being a misprint. But as far as the art, oops, as far as the art goes, it's just wonderful. Um, so yeah, that's that's our pull pile. Um, <laughs> I wish I could show some some something kind of entertaining. I guess what we'll do is we'll go over the whole like I don't not my whole collection because I've collected a lot of cards, but um, just kind of my favorite cards that I've pulled so far that are valuable. So again, uh, Boss's Orders. This is the card that the YouTuber that I started watching hadn't pulled yet, and I pulled it on my very first pull, like very first. It's a $35, $40 card. Nitto King. Um, I kind of, you know, sleeved this one because uh, one of my good friends has his favorite Pokemon. I'm sure this card's not worth much, but maybe he'll love it. Celebi, love this card. Looks beautiful. Mega Slowbro EX. This is actually pulled out of the Evolutions set that I was saying reprinted the original one. So it's just one of the Mega Evolutions inside of it. Solgaleo and Lunala, Lunala GX. Cool. Nice looking card. The two Charizards. We saw them. Charizard and Braxian. The original Charizard. Guzma. Dark Ride GX. Probably $2 card. Starmie GX. $2 card. Zacian V. Now this card's worth a little bit of money. It's I actually have two of them. Uh, the other one's in a binder because I'm trying to get all the Sword and Shield cards. Mew, probably one of my favorite mythical Pokemon. Solgaleo, Delmize V again, two dollar card. Gardevoir GX, two dollar card. Tapu Fini GX. Uh, both versions. This one's more worth more. No wait, I can't remember, but. Nice cards. Phalanx V. Um, I always thought this card, this Pokemon was a little weird. Nine Tails. One of my favorite fire types from the original uh, 151. Noivern GX. And Blues Tactics. I'm not sure how much this card is worth. I should look it up again. But that's it for uh, this week's video. Um, hopefully next week it's going to be a lot more entertaining. Thank you for being a part of this um, I'm really excited to see what this, you know, turns into. So, enough sappiness. You guys have a great night. Um, I have a lot of packages and cards to pick up that have fallen over and um, kind of gotten away from me. So, thank you for watching.